The Latvian War of Independence Latvian, Latvijas Brivibas Chinas, literally, Latvia's Freedom Struggles, sometimes called the Latvian War of Liberation Latvian, Latvijas Atbrivisenas Kars, War of Latvian Liberation was a series of military conflicts in Latvia between 5 December 1918, after the newly proclaimed Republic of Latvia was invaded by Soviet Russia, and the signing of the Latvian-Soviet Riga Peace Treaty on of August 1920. The war can be divided into a few stages, Soviet offensive, German-Latvian liberation of Kurzeme and Riga, Estonian-Latvian liberation of Vidzim, Bermontian offensive, Latvian-Polish liberation of Latgale. The war involved Latvia its provisional government supported by Estonia, Poland and the Western Allies—particularly the Navy of United Kingdom against the Russian SFSR and the Bolsheviks' short-lived Latvian Socialist Soviet Republic. Germany and the Baltic nobility added another level of intrigue, initially being nominally allied to the nationalist, allied force but attempting to jockey for German domination of Latvia. Eventually tensions flared up after a German coup against the Latvian government, leading to open war. Following a ceasefire, a ploy was developed by the Germans, nominally dissolving into the West Russian Volunteer Army led by Gen. Pavel Bermont Avalov. This West Russian Volunteer Army included Germans and former Russian prisoners of war nominally allied with the White Army in the Russian Civil War, but both Bermont Avalov and von der Goltz were more interested in eliminating the nationalists than fighting the Bolsheviks. Certain episodes of the Latvian Independence War were also part of the Polish-Soviet War, particularly the Battle of Dogovpils. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Soviet Offensive. On November 18, 1918, the People's Council of Latvia proclaimed the independence of the Republic of Latvia and created the Latvian Provisional Government headed by Karlis Ulmanis. On December 1, 1918 the newly proclaimed republic was invaded by Soviet Russia. Much of the invading army in Latvia consisted of Red Latvian riflemen, which made the invasion easier. The Soviet offensive met little resistance. In the north Aluxny was taken on December 7, Valka on December 18, and Cesis on December 23, in the south Dogovpils was taken on December 9 and Plavinas on December 17. Riga was captured by the Red Army on January 3, 1919. By the end of January the Latvian Provisional Government and remaining German units had retreated all the way to Liepāja, but then the Red Offensive stalled along the Venta River. The Latvian Socialist Soviet Republic was officially proclaimed on January 13 with the political, economic, and military backing of the Soviet Russia. Liberation of Kurzeme and the coup d'état On February 18 an agreement was signed between Latvia and Estonia, starting formation of the North Latvian Brigade led by Georgis Zemetins on Estonian territory. On March 3, 1919 the German and Latvian forces commenced a counterattack against the Red Latvian riflemen. Tukums was recaptured from the Bolsheviks on March 15, and Jelgava on March 18. On April 16 the Baltic nobility organized a coup d'état in Liepāja and a puppet government headed by Andrīs Nidra was established. The provisional national government took refuge aboard the steamship Saratov under British protection in Liepāja harbour. On the 22nd of May 1919 Riga was recaptured by the Freikorps and terror against any suspected Soviet sympathizers began. At the same time the Estonian army including the North Latvian Brigade loyal to the Ulmanis government started a major offensive against the Soviets in North Latvia. By the middle of June the Soviet rule was reduced to Latgale. <laughs> German-Latvian conflict After the capture of Riga the German forces advanced north towards the Latvian city of Cisus. The objective of the German forces had now clearly become the establishment of German supremacy in the Baltic by eliminating the Estonian military and Latvian national units, not the defeat of the Bolsheviks. The Estonian commander General Johann Laidwiner insisted the Germans withdraw to a line south of the Gauja River. He also ordered the Estonian 3rd Division to seize the Gulbine Railroad Station. On June 19, 1919, the Landeswehr and the Iron Division launched an attack to capture Cesis. 
Initially, the Freikorps captured the town of Straupe and continued their advance toward the town of Limbazi. The Estonians launched a counterattack and drove the Freikorps out of the town. On June 21, the Estonians received reinforcements and immediately attacked the Landeswehr under Alfred Fletcher, who was forced to withdraw from an area to the northeast of Cesis. The Iron Division attacked from Straupe towards Stalby in an effort to relieve pressure on the Landeswehr. On the morning of June 23, the Germans began a general retreat toward Riga. The Allies again insisted that the Germans withdraw their remaining troops from Latvia, and on June 3 intervened to impose an armistice between Estonia, Latvia, and the Landeswehr and Freikorps when the Latvians were about to march into Riga. By its terms, the legitimate government of Ulmanis was to be restored, the Baltic German Landeswehr be placed under the command of the British officer Harold Alexander and the Iron Division to leave Latvia. The government of Ulmanis returned to Riga on 8 July 1919 and the Landeswehr became a component of the Latvian National Army. <inaudible> Vermont Offensive The Iron Division, however, did not leave Latvia. Instead Major Biskhoff created a German legion from over a dozen Freikorps units and turned the units over to the West Russian Volunteer Army. In all, the Iron Division transferred over 14,000 men, 64 aircraft, 56 artillery pieces, and 156 machine guns. Six cavalry units and a field hospital also went over. The offensive by the reformed German army was subsequently defeated by the Latvian army, which received assistance from British and French warships and Estonian armoured trains. Timeline. Topic 1918. The 11th of November, the German Empire and allies of World War I sign the armistice, which marks the end of World War I. Soviet Russia launches attack on German forces. The British Empire recognizes de facto independence of Latvia. The 17th of November, the first legislative institution of Latvia, the People's Council, and the Provisional Government are established. Janis Kaxte becomes the chairman of the People's Council, while Carlos Ulmanis becomes prime minister. The 18th of November, Republic of Latvia is proclaimed in Riga. The 28th of November, the Regency Council of the United Baltic Duchy dissolved. The 1st of December, the Red Army invades Latvia. The 17th of December, the government of the Latvian Socialist Soviet Republic, headed by Peter Stuka, is formed in Russia. Topic 1919. The 5th of January, the first armed unit of Latvia, the first Latvian independent battalion under command of Oskars Kalpaks, is formed. The provisional government retreats from Jelgava to Liepāja. The 31st of January, most of Latvia is under the control of the Red Army. The Latvian government and German forces control the neighborhood of Liepāja. 18 February, agreement is signed between Estonia and Latvia, starting formation of North Latvian Brigade led by Georgis Zemitans on Estonian territory. 3 March, United German and Latvian forces commence counterattack against the forces of Soviet Latvia. 6 March, Oskars Kalpaks, commander of all Latvian forces subordinated to German headquarters, is killed by German friendly fire. He is replaced by Janus Baladis. 10 March, Saldus comes under Latvian control. 21 March, 1st Latvian Independent Battalion is reformed into the Latvian Independent Brigade. 16 April, the puppet Latvian government established by the Baltic nobility organizes a coup d'état in Liepāja. The provisional national government of Latvia takes refuge aboard steamship Saratau. 16 May, the Estonian army starts a major offensive against the Soviets in North Latvia. The 22nd of May, the Baltish Landeswehr captures Riga. The 23rd of May, the Latvian Independent Brigade marches into Riga. The 3rd of June, the Baltish Landeswehr reaches Cesis. The 6th of June, the Landeswehr's North Latvian campaign begins, commanded by Major Alfred Fletcher. The 23rd of June, the Estonian 3rd Division commanded by Gen. 
Ernst Potter, including the 2nd Latvian Cesis Regiment of the North Latvian Brigade defeats the Landeswehr. The 3rd of July, Estonia, Latvia and the pro-German Provisional Government of Latvia sign the ceasefire of Strasdemuiza. The 6th of July, the North Latvian Brigade enters Riga. The 5th of October, the German mission secretly leaves Riga for Jelgava, where an attack is prepared by the German established West Russian Volunteer Army on Riga. The 8th of October, the West Russian Volunteer Army attacks Riga, taking the Partagava district. The 20th of October, Battle of Talsi. The 3rd of November, the Latvian army, supported by Estonian armored trains and the British Royal Navy, launches its counterattack. The 5th of November, Battle of Liepāja. The 11th of November, the Latvian army, supported by Estonian armored trains and the Royal Navy, defeats the West Russian Volunteer Army in Riga. The 21st of November, the Latvian army releases Jelgava from the West Russian Volunteer Army. The 22nd of November, the Lithuanian army defeats the remnants of the West Russian Volunteer Army in Lithuania near Radvaliskis. Topic 1920. The 3rd of January, United Forces of Latvia and Poland launch attack on Bolsheviks in Latgale and take Dogovpils. The 13th of January, government of the Latvian SSR resigns. The 1st of February, Latvia signs ceasefire with Russia. 17 to 18 April, election of Constitutional Assembly of Latvia. The 1st of May, first session of Constitutional Assembly. The 15th of July, Latvia signs ceasefire with Germany. The 11th of August, Latvian Soviet Riga peace treaty is signed. Topic: See also Aftermath of World War I Freikorps in the Baltic West Russian Volunteer Army Estonian War of Independence Lithuanian Wars of Independence United Baltic Duchy Ober-Ost British Campaign in the Baltic 1918-1919